Hello everyone, this is Majid and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use facade design pattern in PHP. Facade allows you to hide the complexity of a subsystem behind a simple interface. For now, we are going to implement hash class with different hashing algorithms using PHP. As you know, we have a lot of hash algorithms in programming world and functionality of these algorithm is different from each other. In PHP, we have some built-in function like MD5 or SHA-1 that gives us the ability to work with them. Now we are going to encapsulate these functionalities and build up a simple interface to can interact with these functionalities in order to simplify the process. So I want to implement MD5 class and SHA-1 class and implement the algorithms using built-in function. After that, I implement a class to be like an interface to simplify using of these algorithms. So let's jump to our code and see what we are going to do today. We, uh, you know, before the start, I should say that I just installed PHP unit for testing my code. And also I just app directory, added app directory to auto load. And here I have a here I have a simple class that extends from test case and also I just added auto load to the to this class. So here we have app directory and in this class we are going in this directory we are going to implement our code. So at first I want to create a single and simple interface called hasher. And it has a simple function called make. So it gives the value or a string or anything. And it hash it. And also it return a string. Just let me add namespace. Say so yes, that is our hasher interface. So for example, MD5 or SHA-1 is going to implement this interface. So let me create MD5 and in this case, I want to add class MD5 and implement from hasher. And it should implement and fill out the make function. So I use built-in function called MD5 to simply hash this value and return it. Also for SHA-1, we are going to do at the same way of implementing MD5. So I just use another built-in function called SHA-1. So we have here, we have an interface called hasher MD5 and SHA-1. And in this case, I want to create a hash class. This hash class are going to be our, maybe the interface uh, for working with different algorithms. So here I want to just uh, implement some basic function, some static called make and it also return a string and of course it receive the value and also receive the algorithm. Yes. So we are using hash class and using the make the static function to just pass the value that we want to be hashed. And also we just simply pass the algorithm. Maybe it can be SHA-1 or it can be MD5 to hash this value. So in this case, I want to create a const array of maybe algorithms. So 
Let me. I'll go. Rhythms. So in this case, we do uh, reference <clears throat> or adding the classes, adding the algorithms that we want to uh, use them. So we, we, we are kind of register them in this array. So I want to use MD5 key for MD5 class. And also I want to add SHA1. For, for now, this is uh, enough, I think. And if, uh, if we implement another functionality, another hash functionality, we can just simply add it to this array. So at this, at this make function, we are going to first check if algorithms is, exist. So I use array key exist. So I check if it doesn't exist. So I just simply threw an error. So we can say that maybe is not exist. Else we are going to hash uh, this value. So I just get this hash class reference. And we are going to return the new instance of this class and make it. And just simply pass this value. So let me test my code to see if it works or not. So I want to create just simple, maybe. Tab hash make for example, test using MD5 algorithms. So hashed values, I received hash values. So I assert that these hash values should be the same with, just let me open up the terminal and echo dash n test using MD5 sum. So, I, so I, I expect that uh, this hashed value should be the same with this because these S strings are the same. So let me test my code. So we have an error class hash app hash not found. So let me check. We just forget the namespace. And yes, the test is passed. And maybe if I change this string, we got error. So we want to test the thing. Full string. So get full string to see what is the hash of this string with algorithm of SHA1. So it would be this string. So just let me copy it and paste it. So just let me test it. And yes, that works. So in this case, you can see that we simply hide the complexity of these algorithms uh, using this interface. But if you, uh, if you know that, that in this case, we are going to implement really, really simple and a stupid function, we are just going to call built-in function, but maybe other algorithms needs to have uh, to have more data, and it requires uh, a lot of function to implement this hash. But in this case, we are just simply using built-in function, so we hide this functionality and this complexity behind of this class. So we we just use. Uh, make the static function 
to just hash the value we passed and also we just simply pass the algorithms. So I think that's it uh, for today. Uh, we, we realize and we understand that how facade algorithm, how facade design pattern works. And also uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe and like this video. And if you had any question, please ask in the comment section below and uh, have a nice day.